Although arguably a more complex system to work with, it is indisputable how much more control you can have over your materials when using the specular glossiness workflow. Here are the takeaways from this pipeline. The advantages are that with this workflow, a material's diffusion and reflection are two individual inputs, which may be preferable to artists who have worked with traditional shaders. It provides more control over the reflectivity for dielectrics with an entire color input. As well, when transitioning between metal and non-metal areas, edge artifacts are significantly less noticeable even at lower resolutions. The disadvantages are that it is much easier to use illogical values for the reflectivity of a dielectric, which is capable of breaking energy conservation and providing unrealistic results. It requires more texture memory as it is a completely RGB workflow. It requires that you have a better underlying knowledge of physically based guidelines to operate effectively, like all of the topics discussed in section three. And lastly, it might be confusing as it utilizes similar terminology as traditional workflows, but requires significantly different data.